Does this car actually need an introduction? It's a Pinsgauer. <laughs> what is a Pinsgauer, you're going to ask, Christy? Well, it's an old military truck from the Austra Austrian army, not Australian. Not Kangaroos, the other one. <laughs> this car is a Pinsgauer, so it's a, an old military car, a troop transport from the Austrian military, not the Kangaroos, the other one. So they exist in 4x4 or 6x6. We have the 4x4 version today. And it has a slight particularity, which, as you may know by the theme of the channel, it's electric. Again, it's electric, she's electric, everything's electric. Maybe you want a bit of specs. It has this, the same motor as the Defender that you saw last time, so it's a Tesla large drive unit, which was modified, it was cut to made to the original transmission. There's a lot of work on this. Uh, it has 100 kilowatt hour of Tesla batteries, which equates to an off-road range of about 300 kilometers, something like this. And keep in mind, this car has been driving for three years in the mountain all winter long. In the winter, they put tracks on this instead of wheels. The main customer uses it to carry people up and down the mountain to a refuge. So let me show you how it is inside. On the outside, it's fairly blend. This is remanufactured, you know. So in the winter, it has a heater inside to keep you warm because from minus 18, this little carpet doesn't help you. And so, well, outside is about the same, but if you were to go up the refuge, that's how you would do this. You can open and there you have the passenger compartment, <laughs> if you can call it this. If you want to join me, we'll see each other on the other side. So welcome to the driving seat, if we can call it driving and not piloting, because this is 50, 60 years old and it likes to have a lot of freeway. So as far as food controls go, pretty easy. Brakes, which are 60 years old, so you have to work them a lot and accelerator pedal. Then you have this lever. This is low ge long gear, neutral, low gear. So if you're climbing up some really gnarly hills, you can put in low gear. This is the handbrake. Whoa. Okay, better to keep this on. We're parked on a kind of a hill. Those levers put you in 4x4 and the uh, locking diffs front and uh, rear and front. On this side, I have the lights, front, back, blinkers. Here I have, I have the button. Those buttons, they change function depending. So if I press the brakes and press forward, then it goes in forward gear, reverse, the same. I have braking two different performance levels which is a smooth smooth and a hard one. I can stop the motor because it's running right now. My battery percentage, the motor speed, how much power I'm using. So this Pinsgauer, we have it here because we had to do some repair work to it. It belongs to a customer who couldn't do the maintenance himself because he had quite some extensive damage on one battery boxes where some water went into the battery boxes and did some damage. So we had to replace all those batteries, plus a few little detail works like bleeding the brakes and changing a few relays because they were burned out. And now we are actually doing a road test, but more like an off-road test today to confirm that all is working, the charge is working, the brakes, everything is working so he can go on and start his season. We have some angle too. Wow! Do we? So nice! I put it in short so we don't over yeah, yeah, too yeah. much. Wow, this is and this is only 4x4. Four four. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, this is an off-road car. This is so good. This is amazing. I'm amazed. Wow. How good it, of how good it is. Wow, this looks steep in the front too. Yeah, but be careful to not to not tip it. Yeah. You have so much control over what you do. It's ins quite insane. Okay, I uh, have. Whoop. Okay. This is a. Uh... See, okay. Let's show you how much control we have. Okay? Oh my. I'm a bit okay. scared right now, to be honest with you. Okay, now I go in reverse. Okay. I'm in reverse. Handbrake. Turn a bit. We reverse going up the hill. So we found a road, well, a track, not a road, it's not paved, which goes straight up in the little hillside. So we'll try with a bit more speed. What did you hear, Paul? Uh, we had to change the wheel after the little log incident. You know, so. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> um, yeah. Can you change the wheel, please? <laughs> so we just exited the the forest where we did some low speed, some hill climb stuff to pass big obstacles, and now we are more in the prairie side. So there's still a bit more hills to go to but we can go a bit faster. So you get the idea, a different idea of the capabilities of this car.
So as you may see, I have the sun in my eyes. The sun is really, really low and we have to wrap this video. So I hope you enjoyed what you have seen uh, of us trying to demonstrate the capabilities of this car. Even though we are not far away from professional drivers, we had a lot of fun. If you have more questions about the, ve the vehicle, where it goes and whatever, please feel free to ask us. To close this, I think we can all say that we are really happy to have had this car here. And the testing is over and successful, so hopefully it will soon go back to its owner. And so if you enjoyed the video, please share it, like it, subscribe to our channel if we earned it. Uh, we have many more videos to come and we have a few already shot.